What's going on guys, it's Sep, and today we are going to be going over the forgiveness. Now, first of all, we are using Mechaneer's Trick Sleeve due to the fact that it's going to give me a huge AE bonus. I just really like the way that it affects sidearms. That is going to make it better on Hunters than it would play on other classes, but the forgiveness is incredible in itself. So, forgiveness, what is so special about it? What's so special about it is the obscene amount of range you can get. It is quite literally ridiculous if it's an adept version you can very easily get 100 range it is very strong in that matter as well as the fact that getting a whole bunch of range over stability is pretty beneficial on m and k the stability is unnecessary but i know that stability helps with the stickiness on console this is going to be a different role for everybody but this is the role that i've gotten i just want to demo the gun i'll be making another video when the adept comes out and uh seeing exactly what you know, testing everything out and finding out like what exactly a perfect roll is. But for now, we do have full board armor piercing rounds. This is going to be a max range roll with moving target, gonna give us the extra hitbox and Vorpal weapon. I wanna see if I can go against a super because this thing would absolutely melt it. It is an aggressive burst, which is going to be similar to our last hope roll is just the new archetype sidearm that we've kind of been waiting on. It hits like an absolute truck. It really, really is extremely strong and it's very fun. So this is the uh, the role that I'd specifically gotten after I'd focused engrams. I tried it on stream a couple of times, but I have not tried out this one yet. Also, if anyone's curious, the shader, uh, copper tone patina, like it, it makes a couple of guns a little rose gold. It's very nice. I'm comboing with a chaperone. A lot of people combo it with sniper. I'm going to be playing rumble, so I'll be a little more aggressive. Other than that, we're just running a couple of sidearm mods. Nothing too wild. And uh, let's go ahead and hop into a game. All right, looks like we had a game of disjunction. Honestly, there's so much cover on this map that it might actually play pretty well. We'll have to see. Oh, no, I forgot my water. Oh, also, I swapped off of the chaperone to a sniper. Chaperone just covers the exact same range, so it wasn't exactly helping out too much. We are completely pinched right now, so I'm really just trying to get a better angle. That way I can get away from that. Figured that they were going to push up. Would have rather just gone for the bait. Make sure that we are all reloaded up. And I'm going to try to stay in middle more. Kind of got drove off to the side. The middle's where it stays nice and hectic. The hip fire on sidearms is just incredible. I love the AA bonus you get on sidearms. A little bit sloppy aim, but that's okay. Can't even see, oh my goodness. Explosive rounds. Okay, they used a healing nade preemptively. Not even worth us challenging, we just fight someone to 300 health. And I got stuck inside of a doorway. It's a little peculiar. Did not think that would happen. <laughs> Is that anarchy? That's incredible. Gonna go ahead and re-challenge straight up the middle. Let's go ahead and try to control this area since we know there's plenty of people here. 
Make sure that we are moving as much as possible. That way we're not just going to get got by a knife. That was almost scary. Do we somehow live? Maybe. Love solar nades because they cut off angles. Okay. I'm just going to have no health for an hour. And we come in for the cleanup. Just gonna go ahead and pop. Knew that I uh, got caught off guard by a shotgun. Did not know they were there. I'm gonna stay away from heavy. So I can continue to take my primary fights. The range on this map is huge. Kind of have to keep dancing back and forth. Trying to find somebody. I hear the sword behind me. Make sure that we are staying away from that. Sadly, it's a body shot. We can re-challenge through middle. This is a guy that just likes to run at people with shotguns, though. So I'm not going to stay too close. This guy tunnel visioned a little bit. Make sure that we are taking advantage of that and staying the heck away from that. No interest in any of that. Make sure that he's burning and can't pick up heavy. Really just leaving them in an uncomfortable situation. Getting rushed down by a shotgun and that's why we have the sidearm. And using Mechaneer's Trick Sleeve for the, uh, the little bit of extra inner accuracy. A little bit. It's like plus 50. Just a little bit. So as you can see, it is incredible at mowing down anybody within a close range. It is extremely competitive against sidearms. It's really, really strong. I got so many assists. Good God. I know that was a little bit longer of a gameplay. But it really does just do an incredible job at what it is meant to do. As you can see, I played plenty of long range maps where I just kept chasing people down. I started this video at zero kills. So it took a little bit longer than it should have. But it really is just so strong. And Mechaneers only makes it better, so... If you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like. I will be using the sidearm a lot in the future. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.